Roots Breaks Walls is a metaphor that we are trying to explore to understand the relationship between immigration and the natural environment. A Roots Break Walls developed into a campaign, a series of events around these explorations. We had three and they focused on different themes that we've also carried like throughout the narrative. So uh, there's like the theme of interdependence with ourselves, with our communities, with nature. The mere idea of like going outside and like being aware of those surroundings, whether it be like the clouds look pretty or the sky or the air feels nice. I think those are just like small ways that we can um, start connecting with nature again. We got to kind of explore like the interconnection between nature and culture and us and roots. And just the way roots um, spread out and help plants grow. Uh, our families are the same way too, right? Um, leaving home and finding new homes for us to grow and prosper, whether it's with careers or like lifestyle. And I feel like a lot of us here in the valley have experienced that some way or another to our parents, our grandparents, or relatives beforehand, or even us ourselves when we leave and come back. You know, we come back and we plant ourselves in the valley to keep our roots growing in our community. So the, the name Roots Break Walls actually is something that um, I've been thinking about probably for a couple of years, um, particularly when the border wall was being built around along the Mission Butterfly Center, around Santa Ana, um, and there was a threat of this border wall going up and um, this idea of, uh, well, what can tear down a wall? What can break down these barriers that are set up to keep us away from nature? You know, we talk about, re about borders and it's more like they don't really exist, but they, uh, they are a convergence of like, uh, where are you going? Primarily, I want people to understand immigration as a natural part of the landscape. Understand that uh, plants migrate to through moving their seeds through water, air, or through animals. Um, the natural environment that we see around us has potential and, and has been moving for centuries, just like. Um, it, the environment that it feeds, right, that it sustains. That is roots breaking walls, so like the barrier that we face to um, good healthy food, not just fast food, like food that actually provides us nutrients, and also the knowledge of like how to do that because I think they do want us to not be able to feed ourselves and they do want us to stick to eating unhealthy food so that our lifespan is cut shorter or we don't have like we don't have good health to do the things that we could be able to do, if that makes sense. I hope that, um, especially with this last event, I hope that people see that the work and the conversations that we've been having, um, other people are having too. So maybe we could all just kind of have those together. And also hopefully, like, just let our guard down and like let connections flow. But it'd be really cool to actually take on a project where we, we are actually dependent on like each other's work. So maybe developing a garden together where we grow our own plants or where we do foster these, these more uh, in-depth relationships because that's really what it's about is just developing these relationships that grew from um, the people that attended to, to continue actually put in place these conversations that we that we had. The thing that I hope for the most was really just like getting those stories out there and like letting people see like hey this is something that I can actually personally connect to. So. Right now it was more about uh, sowing those seeds right and, and tilling those soils so that maybe in the fall we can all actually see those fruits come to, to to fruition.